I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA Plaza wardrobe. This is the combination here with the doors, drawers, hanging rails. All this assembly gonna be in a four parts. And in a, this one, I'm gonna show you how to do the drawers, hanging rails, how to put the doors correctly in, and how to speed up this process as we have a lot of doors. In a previous part, part one, we did the frames, bottom and the top frame. I'm going to show you how to put them together and how to join them together as well. We have six frames in total. In a part three, we're going to join the wardrobes from the back and at the front. At the front, I'm going to show you a slightly different way how to do this. And in the part four, I'm going to show you how to attach the IKEA Plaza wardrobe on the wall and adjust the hinges correctly. And now we have a part two where I'm gonna explain how to do the drawer shelves, rails, and uh, how to put the doors up. Okay, we have the drawers. They're slightly different than the packs wardrobe. You're gonna have uh, instructions inside, few fittings, plastics, and the screws. You're gonna have uh, two side panels, drawer rails, back panel in this box, and the bottom panel. So this is side panel, back panel on the middle, and we have separate box for the front. Here, back panel and the side panels, they have those hooks and the holes in the back panel line at the bottom. So just mind, uh, she'll just match the line at the bottom and you can place the hooks over the holes from the middle panel to the side panel. Just place it in and tap it in. Exactly the same on the other side, just go over the hooks and place it in, slightly push it down. You see the wheels is on the top. The bottom panel, we just slide it through the gap on the side to the back panel. Just tap it in, sometimes I find it go a bit harder in. I just tap it in on both sides. It's gonna stick out slightly from the side on the top because it's coming to the front panel. You can put this on the side and front panel. Here you have two lines. So the bottom line is a third and second drawer and the second line is the bottom drawer. Here we can put it the drawer down. Here I did mistake. I go with the second line because I want to do the first drawer at the bottom. So that's the first line. But I'm gonna I'm gonna fix it uh, later on. I show you how to how to do it. It's easy to just change the drawers up or down. This is supposed to be the bottom drawer, but is it gonna be the second or third drawer? Just place the plastic in on the side to the holes and secure this small lock there, and discovering the hole. Just small plastic. Place it in and push it down. All done. On the other side, exactly the same. Place the plastic in. I keep this mistake in just to show you if if this happened to you, so you can you can fix it later on without the problems. If you have more than a one drawer, so here it is. It's sixth, thirteen, and twenty-first hole. So we're gonna go with the sixth hole first. Hole six on the side panel. You can place the screw in to the front, count the six hole and place the rail in. It's going to be three screws for the each rail. Just place it in exactly the same on the other side. First screw in, it's easier this way because you can go straight on the hole. Hole six, place it in, all three screws. And now, because this should be a drawer, a second or third drawer, I put it still on a on a first. I thought I did it right here. Are you gonna see the front's not gonna match? I supposed to go with the sec first line. I went with the second line at the front. That's the all all change. What you need to do. Didn't realize it here, but when you slide it, all is coming in nicely. It's just not gonna match at the front. You see there, I'm I'm like two centimeters higher because this should be the second drawer or third drawer gonna keep it in for now I show you how to how to change that here with the second drawer so we go exactly the same just go over the over the holes on the side panels place the bottom drawer in the lines front panel and now we're gonna do the bottom one so just place it in the first line there it is that's gonna be the bottom drawer Secure it with the plastic, just place into the holes and push it down. I find it quite hard to push this uh, with the just with the hand, so I use the hammer there. Don't go crazy there, just just a little bit. It need just touch there in the corner. Some of them they go just with the hand, some of them you need to use a hammer. And click the lock. The plastic you don't need to use here for the bottom drawer because we're going slightly higher. And the second one is hole 13. 
here I realize I'm over the edge there at the front so I just gonna swap it and this is the correct one you're gonna see at the front is matching nicely so just go over the wheels this way the slide in and the front's gonna match nicely now so that was the first hole see once I close the drawer they are in the same level yeah just swap them around the second one is gonna ball I think it's hole 13 in the instructions so it's for the second drawer secure the rail on the side with the three screws make sure those screws go all the way in otherwise you maybe have a problem when you're sliding the drawer in or it's gonna make sound like metal on metal secure the screws all the way in so the head of the screw lining up nicely in the rail there it is and that's the second drawer which was in the bottom first so just change them swap them over and it's gonna match so over the wheels lift it slightly up and slide it down slide it in there it is we got now third drawer hole 21 secure it with the three screws on each side exactly the same as the previous one just this is a hole 21 from the bottom and place the drawer in over the wheels lift it up slightly and slide it in there it is nicely matching in line all six drawers opening nicely closing nicely all good now we're gonna do the uh, i didn't join the frames yet that's gonna be in a part three we're gonna do the doors now we're gonna have 12 doors in this combination so we're gonna have two big and a two little bit smaller one one with a mirror on the middle we're gonna have a hinges here those hinges are without the soft closing i think you can get them with the soft closing i'm not sure check it out in a in a store two screws for the each hinge just place the screws in all holes in those in the doors are pre-drilled already so you don't need to worry about that and we don't have the soft closing here so these stickers in the corner it just kind of uh, prevent the doors against loud closing loud slamming or it's just make gonna make it a bit a uh, bit quieter so just place the hinges in secure them and secure them to the frame if it's two of you it's easier to do this as one person can hold the doors and second one can do the screws for a uh, on the other side of the hinge is two screws as well if you're alone you can hold it with one hand and then secure the screw with the screwdriver as i mentioned the electric screwdriver is so useful here because there's going to be a lot of screws and still you're going to need it for uh, fixing to the wall as well and joining the wardrobes if you're going to do the way how i going to do in a part three okay here exactly the same two screws on the other side as well just place it in in the right holes and you've got doors ready we're gonna do exactly the same for the middle that those those doors are a bit smaller but have a three hinges as well and now i'm gonna show you how to speed this all up with those smaller doors because they are smaller size so you can just put them like this together and you can put all the hinges at the same time so basically you speed up the process by putting by doing the same operation at once instead of doing one door place it in one door place it in so you see all the hinges in and secure all the screws together do the stickers together so you speed up the whole process then you just go on the ladder when you go and go up place the doors in the in the frames and you can do it all at once exactly the same for the other three doors place all the six hinges in once you in just secure it see the screwdriver here is fantastic it save you a lot of time and uh, save your hands as well stickers two on each door there it is all six doors ready ready to go so we have the middle smaller doors three hinges exactly the same as the big one and this uh, mirror mirror doors exactly the same i found those screws quite hard to come in but uh, i guess it's good the hinge gonna have a strong fit i just found them i have to push it slightly on the on the screw uh, to to get them in so i imagine if you do this with the screwdriver it's gonna be quite hard top doors those have only two hinges and exactly the same just place it in the right holes and secure it two screws on each hinge for the top doors here you just hold the door with one hand and secure it with on the other side there it is and exactly the same for all those doors not sure if there is an option as i mentioned for the soft closing if yes i would definitely go for it because when i close these doors it's kind of still slamming even the, the sticker it doesn't it just reduced this noise at the end a bit but uh, it's kind of rough closing there it is all doors done the frames are not joined together as i mentioned it's going to be in a part three how to do that at the back and at the front 
Now we're gonna take them off, so I just you just open the middle screw and take it all out. That's the screws you need to open, so we leave the brackets in, so we're gonna have them ready when we're gonna put them at the end when we fix the whole thing to the wall. Just take all doors out, I'm gonna do the hanging rails now. So this hanging rail have two plastic uh, brackets on the side and we secure the plastic bracket with two screws. One on one side, one on the other side. In this case we have the big frame where we're gonna have two hanging rails, one on the middle, one on the top and here exactly the same, secure those two screws. And the hook, there is two holes at the front so just face the holes facing me and just place it in. Click at the end. Exactly the same with the second rail, two screws securing the plastic bracket on each side and put the hook in, click it, that's it. We're gonna do the shelves, slightly different as well, because we have those plastics with the metal thing coming into the frame. I think it's a good fit, better than the, the packed wardrobes in, uh, in this one. Once you put the shelf in, it's kind of making the whole frame stronger and the shelves are positioned nicely in it. See here we're gonna have the first shelf that's gonna be the top of the drawers. If you need to take the drawers out, take them out. You can do it without if all all those plastic lining up nice uh, straight. Sometimes they go kind of on the side, so you have to adjust them a little bit. Uh, just position them straight and the shelf should go nicely in. You have to bang the shelf a little bit down. It's, it's kind of tight fit, but uh, once it's in, it's uh, pretty good. I like it the way they did this one. Plus you don't need to screw nothing, you just place it, those uh, plastics in for the shelves. So it's a free, free of them on each side. So we do exactly the same here, I just remove the drawer, I can, I couldn't uh, access the bottom in, I have to straighten up a little bit. So just remove the drawer if you need and uh, then place the drawer in once you're done. We're gonna have three shelves on the left and uh, two shelves on the middle. How you wanna position the the shelves is really up to you. How you how you need it, it depend what kind of clothes you're gonna put it in or what you are storing. In this case, we're gonna have three shelves, so three lines of those plastics on each side, and the place and just place it in. Pretty easy, straightforward. No need any screws here. That's it. Just tap it in. Once you're completely in, we're done on this side with the three shelves. And here on this side it's gonna be just two shelves. Place them in and we're done with the shelves. So that's how you do the interiors for IKEA Plaza wardrobes. And in a part three, that's the next part, I'm gonna take the all doors out and I'm gonna show you how to join the wardrobes together. So I'm gonna push it all, whole thing out. I'm gonna show you how to join them at the back and at the front. At the front, I'm gonna do slightly different way. I find this way more steady, so I'm gonna do slightly differently. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day and see you in a part three.